Hey, what's up, guys? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Jeannie Mai, baby, it looks like you just got the drop on Jeezy. I was going to say Simon Gabodia because you know that Portia is using the same lawyer for her divorce as Jeannie Mai is using for hers. It's a uh, Kessler, attorney Kessler, and baby Jeannie Mai must have actually did something because Jeezy is in front of the court crying and begging for things to be different. Now, y'all, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Jeezy, if you guys don't know, leaked his divorce to Jenny Mai. The Atlanta Star Journal and major publications had the divorce before it even touched, before it was entered into the county clerk. On top of that, there was in this press tour where it was getting exclusive release. Jenny was crying for her family. Jeezy was like, too bad. We ain't never, ever, ever going to work out, baby. We got different family values. To which I will say, what's Jeezy's family value? Because Jeezy's been a constant mama to Monaco. And jeezy been having his mint like crisis touring again to other 50 year olds that are like, yeah, the snow fall. Like, again, I'm not taking anything away from Jeezy, I will say this. I feel like lately people are confusing character with success. Jeezy is a talented rapper. He is a gifted speaker. He charmed the pants off of Jenny, right? He is a uh, funny person. He has a brilliant strategic mind. We saw the way he wanted to get black women on his side now, and he went with Nia Long. A lot of things. He's rich. That's great. He got real money, right? In this type day and age, fantastic. But does that make him a good partner? Does that make him a good mate? Does that make him a good father? Well, if you ask the mother of his children, the answer would be no. And we just have to deal. Y'all can be like, yeah, he still got his money. Y'all, y'all got, not y'all, but people got to get out of this because someone's rich, they're a good person. Look at the state of the world. Being rich just means you know how to make a dollar. Knowing how to make a dollar has nothing to do with whether somebody is a good person, a good mate, a good father. But forget all that, right? Because I can lecture uh, the people in the back lately, later. Anyway, Jimsy was busy literally spreading him and Jenny, Jenny's business all over and baby he was having fun doing it he was not letting up when he let this rumor start that jenny had been cheating on him he let all these people there were his little blog spots that pieced together things where they were seemed to be loyal to him saying jenny said something about black people even though when you heard the whole clip go watch the video she was actually saying the asian community needs to stop its racism toward black people it was all this stuff going and Jenny was crying. Jenny was in her room. She was listening to like, you know, all her stuff. But then, baby, what happened? Baby. <laughs> Jenny reminded Jeezy she was the Bay. She's from the Bay. She's from the Bay where they dance a little different. Hey, that's that Bay shit. Hey, she's from the Bay where she do things different, right? Y'all know the song, right? Anyway, G Jenny literally put on her music and reminded him, hey, that's that bay shit. Hey, that's that bay shit. Hey, that's what Jenny reminded Jeezy of, y'all. Jeezy is now crying to the court that he want a close, he wants all court documents sealed because Jenny is about to air him out on the one, twos, and threes. And do you know right now, Jenny did a sneak attack on the prenup? Jenny talking about she wants the prenup, right? She wants the prenup and gets the lawyer she hired. He wants, so anyway, let me read this article because it's interesting what Jenny's trying to do. She's not getting this prenup invalidated, but she's saying the grounds written on it aren't the correct ones. But here's the kicker. Do y'all know that Jenny is using the same lawyers that wrote the prenup? to tear that mug apart. Hey, she from the Bay, so she danced a little different. <laughs> danced a little different. Said, Shout out to the Bay all day. Jenny Mai is doing them proud. See, that's the thing. He came in with that country boy stuff thinking he was slicker than a can of oil. Jenny, everybody knows, don't play with Bay girls. Do not play with the Bay girls, right? 
Um, anyway, let's get into this thing because J- he is so mad now. He actually doesn't want to. He doesn't want the court to go on. I find it odd for a man that went on the offensive. Odd for a man that thought he had all the cards. And when he was, he was being cruel to Jenny, even putting out stories. I don't know why she's still in the house. He already said he didn't want her. Now, all of a sudden, you begging the judge. Now you're like, no, 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 no. I want this closed court. When you thought you were going to throw her out in the cold and she was going to stay on her knees crying, begging you, you were fine to let the world witness that. No, baby, you wanted this public. So public it will be. The judge has not ruled on whether they will seal uh, the divorce stocks, but Jenny is set to go to town. So get this, right? She said, one second, hold on, y'all. Okay, so anyway, Jeezy demands Jenny Mai's divorce lawyers be disqualified as battle over prenup heats up. That's right. Jenny said, baby, I'm going to go to the source. We got, listen, you talk about you can't dismantle the master's house with its own tools. Baby, how about we get the people that built the house? All right. Anyway, right. Jeezy asked the court to force his estranged wife, Jenny Mai, to find, find her divorce lawyers uh, th- as their divorce battle turns ugly. According to court docs, Jeezy filed a motion to disqualify Jenny Mai's attorneys, Randall Kessler, it's also Portia's attorney, and Stephen Kearson. Jeezy said he did not file this motion lightly. Now, here we go with Jeezy. Jeezy always got a whole bunch of words, baby. And I know I ramble too, but I feel like he pontificates. Yeah, the it is. Super Califragilisticocious. I feel like he's on his T.I. vibe when it's just like, boy, this is a court of law. Get to the point, right? He said he did not file his motion lightly. Would it, imagine if he, would it matter if he filed it lightly or heavy anyway? He said Jenny hired Kessler and Kirsten to represent her in the negotiation of the prenup in 2021 and used them again in the divorce. The musician said Jenny made an excellent choice in picking Kessler and Kirsten and called them among the most accomplished and certainly most highly regarded family law attorneys in the state of Georgia. I feel the judge's clerk was like, boy, we don't get to the point. He added... More effective representation in a family law matter would indeed be difficult to find. However, Jesus said he needed help from the court with a problem. The musician said since he filed for divorce, Jenny took and to this day maintains the position that while she's not contesting the validity or technical enforceability of the prenuptial agreement, neither is she consenting to its entry by this court. That's called their legal. So now Jeezy went what that's called their legal representation they said jenny's argument is nuanced to a degree effectively saying that she while she does not believe the prenuptial agreement is unenforceable neither is she certain that it should be enforced by the court yes that's called legal strategy jeezy hi just like you found that you know what it's called leaking things to the press to humiliate the girl that you want to dump publicly you know how that goes like everybody got their own angle and it's legal Imagine telling the court that somebody can't have their legal angle without them even having a fight to argue about it. Jenny, mean it, Jenny, meanwhile, recently argued she wasn't given enough time to review the prenup before signing it. She asked the judge to hold off on enforcing it in the divorce. She asked the prenup talk. She said the prenup talks didn't start until five days before the wedding. Jeez, he really thought he was doing something. Jenny argued she didn't have time to comb through Jesus' finances to ensure the prenup was fair. Hey, shout out to little Kayla. Make his pockets hurt. Da, 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 da. Attention, attention. This ain't for any for y'all nine to five. This is for the... Di- anyway, right? Jeezy's motion said, Jenny questioned not only the financial disclosures made by Jeezy attaching the prenuptial agreement, but also the totality of the negotiating process, lamenting the length she was afforded in which to review the draft prenuptial agreement and the due diligence performed on her behalf. Jeezy said that Jenny uh, listed Kessler and Kirsten as persons whom she knows or believes to have knowledge of facts supporting or tending to support her claims and contentions in this action and hopes she attends to call as a witness in the matter. Jeezy said it's a problem that Kessler and Kirsten were the ones who negotiated the prenup and agreed to the terms, but now are contesting it and claiming Jenny wasn't given enough time. <laughs> They're probably the ones that said, listen, girl, sit down. If this mess don't work out, Baby, we already got an escape plan, so sign that mess. You won't be cool. You know they were the ones that said that. 
the most in red. <laughs> Give, this is so long-winded. And this is coming from a long-winded person. Given the fact that Jenny has questioned her ability to effectively review and negotiate the prenuptial agreement, which due diligent process would have been spearheaded on her behalf by Kessler and Kirsten, and further has questioned the financial disclosures of Jeezy, which financial disclosures were reviewed by Kessler and Kirsten, and has specifically mentioned the compressed time frame of an overall negotiation pro process, Kessler and Kirsten will presumably be offered by Ginny to present testimony on her behalf in support of those alleged circumstances. In addition, and further underscoring the particularly problematic nature of Kessler and Kirsten's involvement in the case, Mr. Kessler executed a certificate of attorney at the time of the execution of the prenuptial agreement. That certification stated, in part, that Ginny was fully aware of the meaning and implications of the prenuptial agreement and that all meaning and legal effect of the same was fully explained to her at the time. We're in the third paragraph. Jenny presents claims, therefore, that she has not afforded proper due diligence on the negotiation of the prenuptial agreement and the fact that she now questions Gigi's financial disclosures that she previously did not question, although she had every right to do so, squarely puts Mr. Kessler's prior certification at issue before the court in deciding whether to enforce the prenuptial agreement. Anyway, they he argues that the lawyers cannot at the same time, be counseled to Ginny and a necessary witness as to the veracity of a contested issue of the litigation. Do you see that is not true? They can 100% be. They just have to go under oath, just like you did. And I believe what Ginny is actually contending is you were hiding assets from her. That sounds like this is what the saying, that you were hiding assets from her and you did not let her know the extent of your wealth when you signed the prenup. And because there was only five days, they had to rely on the documents that you gave her. But you did not give her all the documents. And that's why these people are testifying, because they asked your lawyer, is this everything? And they said, yeah. So you lied to the lawyers. You lied to Jenny. So Jenny sounds like she's uh, alleging that you lied. Jeezy lied to lawyers. Jeezy lied to her. And now Jeezy thinks that his lawyers are going to make a motion and saying, uh, a la Simon Gabodia, no, 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 you saw everything there was to see. And now we just need to go down and do it. Y'all, listen, I don't know what to say about this. Um, and he also wants the lawyers thrown off the case. <sighs> We're going to see what the judge decides. But just because, just off of what we see, all I can say is, eh, try again. It's, eh, try again. It's not going to work. Y'all listen. Shout out to Jenny, my bae. She from the bay, so she danced a little different. Hey, that's that bae shit. Hey, that's that bae shit. Hey, that's that bae shit. Shout out to Jenny, my. Give him hell, girl. That's what he gets, baby. Make him pay for everything he took from every other woman before you. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.